we looked at resin samples from across Europe and what we saw was that resin increased in potency dramatically from 2011 to 2016. So during this time, during five years, it doubled in potency. And the price increased marginally during this time. What this means is that people who use resin now in Europe are exposed to a higher level of THC and potentially a greater level of harm. As of herbal cannabis, we also saw an increase in potency, but this was smaller than that for resin and the increase in price was more matching the potency, so less increase in harm for herbal cannabis. One of the most interesting developments we saw was that cannabis concentrates have now entered Europe. And so we've seen evidence of this in the UK based on police seizures and also based on explosions. Um, butane is used to make these concentrates and it can cause explosions. It's very important now that we monitor cannabidiol or CBD concentrations in addition to THC. We know that cannabidiol may offset the harmful effects of THC in cannabis and it's really important to measure levels of CBD as well as THC. CBD is now emerging as a promising medicine for many conditions and there may be markets for CBD rich extracts and products separately from the recreational market. In addition, now that cannabis products are becoming increasingly diverse, I think we need a better guide to help people identify cannabis based on the different products.